I'll tell you what though, this ain't the water you want to be drinking. Yep. Stagnant water source. Oh my god! What's going on, Godzilla Nation? This is our Godzilla. We are back with more Ancestors, the Humankind Odyssey. And we're smashing some rocks. Thank you for joining me as always. I thought we'd kick things off by uncovering some new things. What we have right here is a new tool discovery, Obsidian Scraper. I turned around and said in the last episode, if anybody's played this and they have any tips they want to share with their boy Godzilla, let me know. And some of you said, mash some rocks together, you'll make some different tools depending on the rock that you're using. So, and we are poisoned. We need to find something with medicinal properties. Now, if I'm not mistaken, one of you turned around and told me there's a way you can crack open the coconut, and the coconut juice itself has some healing properties. So, whether or not it heals poisoning or venom is to be determined, but we're about to find out. Let's put your uh, your hard work to the test, God Zero Nation. Let's see how we're going. You grab the coconut. And just as I thought, I did say in the last episode, I had a feeling it was the case, but you use a rock, you bang it open, and you drink the juice out of it. Well, we can't alter it yet. Let's pick up the rock. Thank you. Let's crack this bad boy open and have a drink. Take it in. New food discovery. We got cracked cocoa. Let's have a sip. I'm in love with the cocoa. Oh yeah, have a look at how far that poison thing's dropping. Thanks for looking out for me, God Zero Nation. Well, now that we're not poisoned anymore, something else you guys brought to my attention was we can find basalt rocks underneath these stones and we use a stick to overturn them. See, I do listen to you guys. Proof in the pudding. I'm curious to see if we can find some other uh, stuff under the these rocks as well. Looks like we've got some mushrooms. That's not bad, so another food source. Use the sharpened stick as a tool at least twice, completed. Now, all of these evolution feats that we're unlocking along the way, I have discovered, give us additional years to our evolution line when we do choose to evolve. So the more feats we find, the more things we uncover, the further we'll evolve through time. Have not found any basalt rocks yet though. Is this one here? I think it is. Yes it is, new tool discovery, we got basalt. I'll just take uh take this and head home because we're a little bit cold. Looks like we've got a bit of an upset tummy from eating those mushrooms as well, so we might have to flush that out with water. I know that much. I know when you get that little stomach symbol going on, drink plenty of clean water. Mm-mm. Does the job just fine. Okay, Godzilla. Don't ruin this piece of basalt. No, no, we can't grind it. It's the wrong rock. Here we go. Let's use our meteorite. You have to listen for those little audio cues. Otherwise that happens. I think I'm just going to give up. We can uncover that tool later. We need us a little drink here. We got the upset tummy. We need to feel better again. So will you stop picking up the rock? There we go. 
And the rest of you, come get a drink as well. It's good for you. Shouldn't be waiting around for me to have a drink. Final thing I want to test out before we go into the wild. We strip this down. And we get a little stick. And this stick... We can use to poke into beehives to collect honey. There just so happens to be a beehive up here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm loving this game. It has picked up its fair share of negative reviews, I'm not going to lie. We spoke about this in the last episode. But the more I uncover, just the more deeper I want to dive into the universe. And the fact that it offers so much, we're obviously going to try and get our lineage here all the way to the final stages of its evolution. Then we've got the possibility of playing a survival mode where we just play as one monkey as opposed to a troop. So many possibilities. This honey though. Mm -mm. It's given us a shield against venom. Very handy to know. So if we get bitten by a snake out there or anything else that can cause poisonous damage, get yourself some honey. Let's sleep until the sun comes up. I love the sleeping mechanic with the fact of how you can see there just little images of things that you could potentially do. Let's see what we can do evolution wise. Have we unlocked much? We've unlocked a little bit. Body language, okay. Perception. Not bad. What have we got over here? We've got memory. The range for detecting of non-edible resources is increased. Body language we just unlocked before. What do we have down here? Mirror neuron. Mimic grabbing an item. Okay. I think that's handy moving forward. Having the clan able to mimic our movements. Obviously it's only going to start with picking up items, but then it will come down to things like, you know, being able to use them to defend yourself, or crafting items of their own. Self-empowerment. Do we want to feel self-empowered? Yes, we do. And I love the fact that this game gives you choice. We're obviously shaping the evolution of mankind. And it's not a straight and narrow path that just sets us on a way telling us that this is the way we have to evolve. We can choose the way that our lineage runs. Which is fantastic. We haven't dove into generation yet. I don't want to skip any generations yet, or evolution, or anything of that matter. But what I've so far been able to understand with generation is you get a certain amount of points that you can lock, an ability that you unlock in the, the uh, neuronal area right here. So then when you do have a next generation of babies come through, they automatically remember those key locked neurons that you've unlocked, which I think is fantastic. And then evolution is obviously us being able to skip X amount of years through history and seeing our kind develop through time. But we're not ready for that yet. Not ready for that at all. We just want to do a little bit of upgrading with this stuff. I want to venture out into the unknown again, see if we can uncover some things that we didn't get to really touch base on. Just so we can get a firm grip of what's going on around us. As you can see there, three reinforcements. So as it stands, we can lock three of those unlocked neurons to our next generation. And these are the feats that we've currently uh, uncovered. We've got a feat each in three different spots. 
But as I said, I just want to be able to traverse out into the world, go and unlock some more things, uncover some new things. If we can find some more apes along the way, that'd be fantastic. I still feel it was very opportune that we uh, found that ape right in the beginning of our playthrough. I also want to do a little bit of defense over on our home base here. Give us a little bit of protection. I am, however, in the next couple of episodes hoping that we can go on a little quest to scope out a new area for us to move to. As much as I love this area, and the fact that it's enclosed, pretty safe. I mean, we're up on a cliff, so not anything's going to come up here and get us, really. But I think if we're going to take steps forward in evolution, we need to progress forward and physically move as well. I haven't come across many places on our journey yet. I think we've only uncovered maybe two or three different areas so far apart from this one. None of which I think is suitable for uh, for us to move our home base to. I mean, one of them was right next to a uh, boa constrictor, so we don't want that going down. Um, jump over here. Grab those sticks. Thank you very much. I think what I'm going to do with those sticks is I'm going to make some weapons. What the hell's going on there? See, we can order Mimic to pick up the stick. We've still got our fish sitting there, nice and calm. I'm thinking we're going to make a couple of sticks so then when we do get ready to move, our guys are well armed. And I want to see whether we can use... Uh, these sharpened down tools that we've got to, uh, there we go, see whether it does the job quicker. Oh, I broke my stick. God damn. But we want to be well prepared. The one thing that I've been struggling with when we came across some things in the wild in the last episode was I'm still struggling to get the dodge mechanics going and from what I understand the dodge mechanics are pretty much very similar to the crafting mechanics in which you have to wait for that little audio cue in order to dodge and weave out of a certain uh, perspective area so if we get the opportunity to try and get out of harm's way later on I'll give it a crack but we want to be able to start killing things as well because not only is that going to help with moving our neurons forward and being able to evolve, but it makes us a bit of a threat, and the animals will learn that over time, that you don't want to mess with the apes. But not only that, but it gives us different food sources as well. You hold on to that. Keep, keep, that, keep that safe. Apes must protect. But I don't think I'm going to take a baby with me this time around. I'm not sure. Although having the baby on our back means we pick up more, you know, neuronal energy that we can use to upgrade abilities and all that kind of stuff. I just feel if we run into too much danger and we get ourselves put in harm's way, I don't want to risk losing a baby and an adult. You want to plan for the future, ladies and gentlemen. We can't be losing the future generation before they become, you know, they're not expendable yet. They're still babies. So let's have a drink up and uh, get ready for a new adventure. I have decided we're going to put the baby at home. I don't, oh, do we take the baby? No, no, we're putting the baby back. As I said, I don't want to risk losing it. We got ourselves into a fair bit of trouble last time we went out there, so... I'm sorry, bud. You stay at home. You've already lost one parent. Actually, can I take that stick off you? Thank you. And let's go out into the big bad world, ladies and gentlemen. Still some animals that I know we haven't come across yet. We haven't come across the crocodile. 
which is actually quite surprising given the amount of time we spent in the swamp in the last episode. As you can see, your boy's learning to uh, traverse through the trees a little bit better. Thank Christ. I just love how beautiful this game looks. And I can confirm we're not going to be in the rainforest for all too long. There are a few YouTubers playing this game at the moment. A couple of which I have been watching some streams of just... Not to spoil things for myself, but just get a better understanding on how certain mechanics work. I'm grateful that there are some people out there that have uh, dedicated their time to helping people, you know, better their own experiences. But some of the locations we can find in the later game, absolutely breathtaking. I cannot wait to uncover them all with you guys. Trying to scout the area out and make sure that we don't have any animals wanting to tear us to absolute shreds. As I said, we want to start uncovering some new locations as well. So, we did have the opportunity to conquer our fear, which has opened our range of how far we can travel away from home without losing our absolute minds. Get up in the tree, get up in the tree. I ain't gonna be crocodile food today, no sir. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I hear it. Where are you at? God damn son of a bitch, I heard you. I don't think that's it though. I don't know what that is. Maybe that's just poss possible water source, I don't know. Gained a little bit more intelligence, that's nice. I see you down there. Yeah, he's seen me. He's seen me. He's going to park himself right underneath my tree. There he is. You big son of a bitch. Yeah, he's locked onto me. Run! Run! Run, monkey, run! Nah, I didn't dodge in time. Nope, I didn't dodge in time that time either. God damn it! Thank God the pig... Where the hell did the pig come from? I don't care. Thank God it was there. Okay, Mr. Crocodile, don't turn around. Can I intimidate it? Piss off! Ah! I'm still suffering with this dodging bloody sequence. I'm in a lot of trouble here. The pig's dead. The crocodile ran off. God knows why the crocodile ran off. I mean, the crocodile's got me dead to rights. Let's uncover this place before we get torn to shreds. We're not bleeding, which is good. We just got broken bones. That crocodile was relentless. The big swamp. Tell you what, we are not moving anywhere near this place. That's for goddamn sure. I love the idea of staying in places that are high up cliff sides or well, you know, well hidden away. 
Maybe a cave? My stick's still down there as well. I see the crocodile slowly coming over here. Sir, please. Please just go away. Sir. Look. It Don't hiss at me. No, no. Keep your mouth wide open, I'll drop a turd right in it. bad thing right now is um, I'm losing my mind. Oh no! He's hitting me hard. I'm so dead. I'm so dead I make dead people look not so dead. I'm in big trouble ladies and gentlemen. Where the hell the crocodile got? Where'd it go? Mr. Crocodile? Can I have a drink? These thorns have the bloody inspection thing on them. Why won't you let me inspect anything? Oh, you'll let me inspect it now. I'll tell you what though, this ain't the water you want to be drinking. Yep. Stagnant water source. OH MY GOD! No, no, no. Please no. Now we're bleeding. No, it, it's over for us. We're dead. It's a good thing we left little baby at home. This is the end for me, guys. I ain't coming home. I ain't making it back. I'm sorry. It was fun while it lasted. Ah, I'm gonna die. Here he goes. He's just beaten and bitten and... God damn it. But with death, we take over a new member of the clan. It's unfortunate that we lost that ape so soon. But ladies and gentlemen, that opens up new possibilities for us to uncover in the next episode because this is where we're going to wrap this one up. Thank you for joining me as always. Even though it ended on a sour note, if you have been enjoying this, go ahead and leave a like on the video. It goes a long way to supporting myself and this channel. And I seriously cannot thank you guys enough for all that support. If you're new to the channel, plenty of other content to check out. I urge you to do so. And if you enjoy what I'm throwing down, hit that subscribe button and pledge your allegiance to the God Zero Nation while you're doing so. Social media links in the description down below, as well as a series playlist if you've missed any episodes, you can go catch up at your own convenience. Hit that notification bell before you leave, so every time something brand new hits the channel, you guys get notified straight away. But that's it from me guys, I'm out of here, and as always, I will catch you guys next time.